Hello, YouTube. It is me, Merlin is Count Dracula. I am doing a deck pack because a subscriber asked me to. His name was Jose. Um, this is for you, Jose. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. I am the what? In future magic code, I have recurred once again. Okay, so to start, we have Confusions. It's just a really good, it's a really good rare card. It, it can remove, it can remove basically anything that's very annoying on turn 3. So, this, we have four of these, just in case I get mana screwed, like, I have another, I have an angel right here, to hopefully draw an inspiring cop over here. Now I'm going to draw another card, but, um, this is just, this is just a thing for, to get mana, like, on turn two, because it's really good. Like, you get mana screwed all the goddamn time. Um, it's a really bad card to just play in against all your other angels. Plus, I'm just on the counter. So, uh, acidification. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this does. It's just. I always use it when somebody gets out like a very big creature that's just painful and annoying. I use that immediately on the big creatures. Same with go for the throw. Okay, the same as that. And then, oh yeah, if I can't get rid of the same creatures, I use something important so I get rid of the tongue dropper. So we have two uh, Adeline, well, partially because I don't have another one of these, I'd probably have three of them if I could, but I don't have another one. But yeah, that's a really good card. I'll, I'll show you what my combo is later. It, it, whenever it attacks, I think it gets, it gets buffed up every time, I, every time a creature enters a battlefield, which is just super overpowering, especially for turn 3. Like, OMG. And that really goes with this card right here. Uh, Guardia Font of Hope. Because I can add another mana if I get mana screwed. But really early on, so it's really good. They go together. And that goes with my Angel card that I can hopefully play next. It goes with Inspiring Crossover. So this guy will get a counter. And I'll get a life. And when you use the battle code, I get a draw card, so if I'm in the inner screen, it will really help to the drawing to like, get underneath the, the deck, so I can have a card to draw. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice crack. Then we have Prison Sentence. If I don't, if I don't get those two good turn 3 cards, then this is a very good turn 3 removal card, and you get a spray too, like, you can't go wrong with that, especially if you don't get any of the other turn 2 cards, like, like, yeah, there's no way to go wrong with that. Like, that, that's just really good. So, here is the, the combo of so things that are very, 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 very interesting. During your turn, opponents cannot cast spells or activate abilities of artifacts, which is very good. Creatures are enchantments, and whenever he attacks, with a X11 colorless artifact token, or X 
Sometimes four tokens, if you get up to that point. And... Didn't really go with that, but, like, if it's still about to come up, which is really good. Maybe Charlie Lord. It's just a... It's a very annoying card, like... It's... It's removal, because it has death pet. And I have all my other stuff going on for me, so like, why would somebody want to even try to kill this thing? But yeah, whatever you draw a card, you gain two life. And an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. So like, if they had a, th if they had a deck that uh, makes them draw a whole bunch of cards, they're, they're, just, they're just basically committing suicide. Like, who would want that, right? And then for the ultimate combo, the angels, the Sarah Redeemer, you have three of these. Whatever that creature is power to or less, energy battlefield, energy control, put, a plus, put two plus one plus one counter on that creature, like, like if this guy gets out, whew, I'll treat a, a one one token, or a three three token that's tapped. And attacking? That that'll really disrupt your opponent. And that also that also gives it this guy a mile short of ever. Because whenever he attacks, he also creates a weak ass sons of bitch. It's a 1-1 one, 1-1, one. One, one, so he becomes a 3-3. Three, three. They will all become thinkers if they're attacking with multiple. Which that's just that's just an ultimate combo with here in itself. And this like this this is just in case I don't know, that's just a really good card. Uh Alicia the Dragon Archangel, like Like come on, that's just that's cheating right there, like. Whenever another, another non creature token you control dies, you throw that card to its other team, the beginning of the next one step. So it's basically a fair pair of non, except it has flying and life attack. And if a creature the opponent controls will die, Ed died instead, so like, all this is evil. Go for the throat. The silly little death touch. Like. Yeah. That's my deck, y'all. That is my deck. It's actually very good. Also, for the planes, you have 19 lands. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stop. 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 19 lands, 10 planes, 9 swamps, and 4 days. Honestly, maybe possibly take out a swamp and put in other planes. Just saying. But, um, yeah. It's my Agro Angel deck with Life Dream and a bunch of tokens. I have my box in future magic curl. It's probably my best deck, honestly. Like it's it, it's a very annoying. There's another deck that's really good for it. This deck, this deck. Yeah, I repeat myself two times. And I'm gonna repeat myself a third time, but this deck will make me become the works in future magic curl. Like and subscribe for more deck tips. This is a once in future magic world. Remember them is Count Dracula. I can't wait to see you guys in future videos. I'm also going to buy a lot more cards in a few hours and I'm going to have a lot more decks. So, see you guys later. Remember Jose, this is for you.